Last week, Youngstown City Council approved spending almost $3,000 on a historical marker for the oldest continuously inhabited residence still on its original site. It's the Kyle McCullum House on the west side. Earlier today, I toured the house where construction started in 1797, one year after John Young arrived. The Kyle McCullum House is the last one on the east end of McCullum Road, adjacent to Mill Creek Park. The stone facade is over 200 years old. The holes on the side is where the original wooden scaffolding went. In some places, the wood's still there. Joshua Cowell uh, married a McCullum, Hannah McCullum, and they were the ones who built the house. For 24 years, the house has been owned by Phil and Sylvia Imler. The fireplace where meals were once cooked is now the center point of a sitting area. The windows show walls that are two feet thick. The basement walls are part of a foundation that's six feet thick, while the beams holding it all up are the originals. The historical designation began eight years ago when students of Youngstown's Sojourn to the Past asked to research the house. She inquired if they could do research to try to verify the, the lore that we had heard about the house, that it was a stop on the Underground Railroad. There's no proof the house was part of the Underground Railroad, but when it was discovered that additions and renovations made in the late 1930s were designed by legendary Youngstown architect Charles Owsley, the Ohio History Connection designated it an historical site. The reason why it's been eight years since they did the work was because we just didn't have the money to, uh, to buy the marker. Youngstown Councilwoman Lauren McNally recently learned about the designation and helped find the money for the marker. That's where the water came from. Mm -hmm. Out front, you can still look down 40 feet into the original hand-dug, stone-lined water well. Not far from here is where the marker will go, a marker the Immler's credit to those students of Sojourn to the Past. We felt that the important thing was that the work of the students who had worked so hard would be recognized. Though construction of the house started in 1797, it wasn't finished until 1813, perhaps because Joshua Kyle went off to fight in the War of 1812. In those 204 years, the Immlers are only the fifth family to have lived there.